I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. Every day, I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. I have discovered something very important over the last few years, one of the secrets to victorious Christian living. That secret is to pay attention to what I think about. Our thought life is linked to our ability to live by faith, experience joy, and trust God. So I want to ask you today, what are you thinking about? Paul talks about it in Colossians 3, 1 to 3. Listen to these words. He says, since you have been raised up to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. In verse two, he tells us to think about the things of heaven, not the things of the earth. Now, I'm adding emphasis there because I wonder how many of us actually spend most of our time thinking about the things of the earth, our jobs, people, difficulties, finances. I could go on and on. First, we need to pay attention to what occupies our thoughts most of the time. I think that's one of the things Paul is teaching here. And Paul helps us to understand that this life is not our real life. Our real life is hidden with Christ in God. He is telling us that the unseen with Christ is reality. In fact, more real than anything we know in this life. Now, that's pretty mind-blowing when you really stop and think about it. What this truth does is take the edge off of everything we experience in this life. Everything we are enduring right now is temporal, and it is not real life. It won't last forever. That helps us to move our thoughts to the things of heaven, the eternal. So, what are the things of heaven that we are to be thinking about? Well, the first thing that comes to mind from Scripture is our God. I think of Psalm 46.10 where God says, Be still and know that I am God. Thoughts of God and all that He is, all that He does, and all that He says are enough to occupy a lifetime. Then another thing of heaven to think about is who we are in Christ. We are God's masterpiece created to do good works according to Ephesians 2 verse 10. Then there is the thought of heaven and eternal life itself. All you have to do is turn to the last two chapters of Revelation and live in those words to see your future in heaven. Oh, it's a beautiful and blessed hope that we have, knowing that one day all things are going to be made new, that God is going to wipe every tear from our eyes, and that there will be no more pain, suffering, or death. Then to know that we will live in a place that God has prepared for us. We will see his face. His name will be on our foreheads and we will reign forever and ever. These are just some of the things of heaven, but these are the things that need to be occupying our mind more than the things of the earth. So what are you thinking about lately? More of the things of earth or heaven? Your time with God and His Word will help you to think about the things of heaven. The Spirit of God is faithful to teach you from the Word and then bring it to your remembrance. So, take time to spend with God in your quiet time. You will discover that you begin thinking more about what's in the Bible than what's happening on earth. And God will use His Word and apply it to your heart to help change the way you think. So today, dear friend, I want to ask you, what are you thinking about? And will you think about the things of heaven instead of the things of earth? Dear Lord, thank you for making it possible for us to know you and to know about the things of heaven. Help us to think about the things of heaven, not the things of the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's my quiet time.
God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.